It's always nice to play a game with a friend, so in this video we'll be taking a look at the top 10 upcoming cooperative games coming in 2017 and 2018. A lot of great games to look at, so let's get right into this. Number 10, Cuphead. Cuphead is a run and gun platformer drawn in the style of a 1930s cartoon. You fight a series of bosses to repay a debt to the devil, artistically the game looks great, and of course the game has two player cooperative mode that adds another human player to the boss battles and the second player plays as Mugman. Cuphead comes September 29th for PC and Xbox One. Number 9, Call of Duty World War II. Call of Duty is one of the biggest franchises in the world. Yes, it has its detractors, but nonetheless, every year it's one of the best selling games of the year. Now it's coming back to World War II, which is a great change of pace for the series, and as far as co-op goes, Zombies will be returning with its own original storyline set in alternate history and separate from the campaign. Call of Duty World War II comes November 3rd for PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Number 8, Dauntless. Dauntless is a free-to-play game set in a fantasy setting where a cataclysmic event has torn the world apart, releasing dinosaur-like behemoths that prey on the surviving humans. Players take the role of slayers to take down behemoths collecting loot that they use to craft and upgrade weapons and equipment. A lot like Monster Hunter, but it's got its own elements for sure. Dauntless comes at the end of the year for PC. If one is to survive, power must be taken. And the Smiths of Ramsgate will forge raw power into legend. Take up your blade, Slayer, and fight ice with fire. Number 7, Destiny 2. The follow-up to arguably the biggest game this generation, Destiny 2 is almost here. Gameplay will be very similar to the last game, but much more technically refined. The goal of the game is to create high-quality PvE and PvP content, and given all the new areas, maps, and content that are being added, it should be a far bigger improvement over the first game. Destiny 2 comes September 6th. Don't let them pass the gate! The evac shuttles are back there! Number 6, Absolver. Absolver is a martial arts focused action RPG being developed by Slowclap, an indie studio composed of former Ubisoft Paris employees. The game's story is focused on human development of characters as they fight to find their place in a collapsed empire. You can fight alongside other players on quests and you can also fight against them. Absolver is a game with a lot of potential that comes to PS4 and PC on August 29th. Quickly unfold a weapon in the heat of combat. Unfolding a weapon in combat changes your combat deck making it harder for your opponent to anticipate your movements. Weapon attacks inflict more damage than bare hands, while also adding in cut damages, which chip away your opponent's health, even while they are in the defensive guard. Take heed. Weapons can break if used for too long, and warriors can be disarmed by a flurry of targeted blows. When a fighter is disarmed, their opponents are able to pick up the weapon and use it against them. The ruins of the Adal Empire can quickly become an unforgiving battleground for the unprepared prospect.
Number 5, Sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves is a return to form for the iconic studio and Rare, who for a long time were floundering a bit, but now are creating something with incredible potential. Sea of Thieves, a pirate-themed action-adventure co-op game. You and a group of players travel and explore an open world on a pirate ship and assume different roles such as steering, hoisting sails, navigation, firing cannons, and other tasks. Sea of Thieves comes 2018 to PC and Xbox One. here on the Sea of Thieves, and you can live yours however you want, so rally your crew. Swear your oaths and set sail for riches and infamy. Become a pirate of legend. Just try not to be this one. Number 4, State of Decay 2. The follow-up to State of Decay is coming in State of Decay 2, and a very exciting part of the game is that it's adding cooperative play with up to three players. The game itself is set in an open world, and it's a survival game that's mechanically great. Technically, it also looks great running on the Unreal Engine 4. State of Decay 2 comes to PC and Xbox One in 2018. Last truck, get in. Number 3, Divinity Original Sin 2. Divinity Original Sin 2 is the follow-up to the 2014 game, once again being developed by Larian Studio. The story of the game takes place 1,000 years after the original, and you can recruit up to three companions to assist you, which are all able to be controlled by another player, an increase from just one in Original Sin. Expect a game with a ton of content that doesn't hold your hand too much. Divinity Original Sin 2 comes to PC on September 14th. It should come to consoles at some point after that. We're looking for help to travel to the mainland and are trying to enter a village where we'll hope we'll be able to get a ride on a dragon. Getting into the village, however, turns out to be problematic because of some local unrest with the dwarves. My main character hails from this town and is recognized by the guard. This facilitates things for her and she easily gains entry. However, the rest of the party is not allowed in. While the thief and elf eventually convince the guard via individual persuasion events, the dwarf fails and has to find another way in. Like this, pretty much every dialogue that you'll encounter will run differently. Depend Number 2, Anthem. Anthem is the latest ambitious project from Bioware, a multiplayer action RPG where you assume the role of a freelancer, one of a group of bold and courageous people who leave their civilization to explore a lush and dangerous landscape. Anthem is set in an open world environment and you wear a fully customizable exosuit called the Javelin. You can add various unique weapons and superhuman abilities to it. Anthem is incredibly ambitious, hopefully it delivers when it comes to PC, PS4 and Xbox One in 2018. there. Have you been in there yet? I haven't. Oh, we should do that later with Kim. <laughs> yeah, you could use the XP. Hello, treasure. You can equip your Javelin exosuit with gear that brings devastating power to combat. Scars down there. Oh, the scars have a heavy. I have time to use that mortar. <laughs> Give me some covering fire. 
Finally, number one, Monster Hunter World. Monster Hunter is finally back on current generation platforms with Monster Hunter World, an action RPG being developed by Capcom. This entry will feature much larger maps, seamless transitions between zones and maps, so no load times, and four player online co op. Technically, the game looks outstanding and it's shaping up to take the franchise to the next level. The game will be loaded with content and expect this to be a game that'll keep you busy for a very, very long time. It comes early 2018 for PS4 and Xbox One, and later on for PC. もう<笑><笑><笑> もう攻めていかないとあれだよ。そうですね、時間がかなりないもん。タイトルですよ。なんか売ってるね。あ、これ鉄鋼榴弾ですかね。おお、暴れ。おっしゃ。オッケー。もう取りましたね。この攻撃